here we go determine how many different codes can be formed if letters and digits may be repeated what's our scenario a company generates a four character code using the 26 letters of the alphabet and the 10 digits 0 to 10 and the code is in the form letter digit letter digit and then 12.1 we are supposed to find uh, the total number right the question says determine how many different codes can be formed if letters and digits may be repeated so we have letter digit letter digit so how many letters do we have we have 26 right and then how many digits do we have we have 10 but repetition is allowed right how many different codes can be formed if letters and digits may be repeated so when we fill the third spot with the letter we still have 26 options and when we fill the fourth spot with the digit we still have 10 options so the answer here so that is 26 squared uh, multiplied by 10 squared 67,600. so there we go uh, that is the answer to 12.1 uh, let's take a look at 12.2 looks like we have some conditions here let amount how many different codes can be formed if the letters d oh well d f i q u and v may not be used so of the 26 letters how many are we subtracting one two three four five six so we are subtracting six letters and now we only have 20 letters right okay and then the code may not start with a W or Z. Is W or Z one of the letters that we eliminated? No. Okay. That is important to, to address. Um, letters or digits may not be repeated. Okay. And then the codes, uh, the code ends with an odd digit. Okay. So those are our conditions. Let's go ahead and play around and see what... Uh, we can come up with okay so we have one what am i doing we have one two three four spots that we need to fill so let's start with the spots that have conditions the spot that have conditions is the first and the last right we have special conditions there so the last spot the code ends with an odd digit so how many odd digits do we have so the digits that we have is zero one two three four five six seven eight nine so odd <laughs> that is even odd 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 seven is odd nine is odd so we have one two three four five we have a possible of five digits that can fill the last spot we have only a possible of five digits that can fill the last spot okay so we we put five there because of that and then let's come to the first spot which we also have a condition uh, the code may not start with a w or a z so how many letters can possibly occupy the first spot we have only 18 letters that can possibly occupy the first spot because we have removed six right because we cannot use them anymore but of those 20 that are remaining we have two that are not supposed to occupy the first spot so we have 18 at there and then the second spot do we have any condition there no we just need a digit right but we have already exhausted one digit on the last spot we have exhausted one odd digit so of the 10 we are left with nine here on the second spot so there goes nine and then on the third spot we've already of the 20 letters right we've already used one on the first spot so we're actually left with 19 there on the third spot where we need to assign a letter so let me put this in my calculator 18 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 19 multiplied by 5. this is equals to 15,390 so w or z they should not occupy the first spot okay so uh, i'm quite uh, happy with what we've done there okay this is the answer to 12.2 let's take a look at 
12.3. 12.3 just out of two marks. So I want you guys to let me know in the comments. How did you answer this question? Calculate the percentage increase in the number of different cones that can now be formed. Right. So how do you answer this question? What is your solution? Can you write it down in the comments? I'd like to see what your answer is. There we go.